Hey, howdy everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back from vacation. I got this sick looking cowboy hat from vacation that's got a a little like guitar head with a treble clef on it. So pretty cool. And I won't really wear this hat in my daily life, so I gotta get some use out of it. So I figured I would just wear it on my channel and this will be my discussing music hat, I guess. Now I am country. There you go. I'm doing a rebrand. So deal with it. If you don't like it, let me know, and I won't take your opinion into consideration. We're checking out Mirror today, the new EP, Mare. This is borderline album length. It's 29 minutes and 49 seconds. But I figured, as I had kind of been doing with EPs in the past, I will not make this a Patreon exclusive. I will just upload the video to YouTube so everybody can see it, because this has been hyped to no end. I know when I listened to the Poetic Edda EP, I said that that was EP of the year, and I don't think it could be topped. Um, I think it could be topped. I haven't listened to this yet. However, Mirar have held their spot on my list with Song of the Year, Takata, for ever since that drop. And I have not heard a song that is better than Takata at all this year, and we're halfway through the year. So I have every reason to believe that this EP is going to knock my socks off and more, and I will be disappointed if it does not, but it's nearly impossible to be disappointed with Mirror. So let's get into this. I looked up very rough Google translations of some of these song titles to see if I could figure something out. Um, Rose Bonbon translates to Pink Candy. Uh, I don't know if any of this makes any sense, but I just typed it into Google Translate, hit detect language, and see what happens. Um, so, Pink Candy. Hestehov means horseshoe. And the final one, ko Koshimar, means nightmare. Uh, and the other ones I could not find any sort of translate for. So, let me know if these words mean things or if I'm incorrect uh, by just throwing words into Google Translate. But let's get into this i am so excited for this ep this has been one of my wait why does it oh oh oh, oh hang on i have to there we go to adjust it okay so excited for this ep this has been one of my most anticipated releases ever since they've been dropping these singles and then finds out come to find out that the singles are not even on the ep this is an ep of entirely new songs so they're not even like putting the singles into this ep oops sorry and I've been putting the singles into this EP. It's just, it's completely new. So let's get into this. I'm beyond excited. Let's go. I'm hitting play. Let's get it. Wait, is this... Is this Rachma as in Rachmaninoff? Is that what this is? Ah, I'm picking up what you're putting down as in Rachmaninoff. Ah, okay. Let's go. <laughs> already dude already they are cooking out the gate with this The piano in the background is incredible. I don't know Rachmaninoff as well as other composers, but I'm assuming that this is one of his piano songs in the background. So let me know if that's one of his pieces and which one. The piano is crazy. 
gives it such a weird atmosphere. Oh, it's so wild. Oh, ah, I'm, I didn't, I didn't hit that. My piano just did that automatically. I did not do that. Oh, this is disgusting. Bro. Bro. So this is just the one guy, right? Because there's no vocals. Oh, this is similar to one of the sections in Takata. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, the symbol. Right in the whoa, whoa. Okay, we're getting some sounds here. Right in the second track. Hang on. Thank you, Mike Mute. All right. <clears throat> that was that was incredible. Great first track. Great little intro to this EP. Um, I'm already hearing some weird stuff. I meant that there was that that little section that was kind of similar to to the one part in Takata. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um Overall, that was that was just great. It was just more of what makes Mirror awesome. Uh, I loved the the little there were like little choir bits in there towards the end. I think a little bit or like some vocals, like background vocalness noises happening. Like some of that towards the end. The piano in the beginning was cool, and then it had the like background piano atmosphere throughout. I'm assuming it's one of Rachmaninoff's compositions because the song is named Rachma. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know which one. I'm, I'm not as familiar with his work. But, yeah. Great track. Great track. Let's keep going. This is creepy. Good 
can put this on in the club. This is relentless. They're repeating this. It's a pattern. Yes, this goes so hard. this section so much. <sighs> Are we gonna... Yeah, we're going right to the next one. Okay. Um, so, I, I would play this all the way through, but I want to talk about the songs a little bit, kind of, like, on their own. Plus, Murar works best... Like it just it gets better on subsequent listens. So I think as I listen to this more, I'm gonna like it even more. That's kind of how it's been with Takata. Like I, I liked Takata, I loved Takata on first listen, but every time I listen to it, it gets better and better as I start to learn the structure of it and like the different sections and how it all flows as a song. So it's like ten minutes long. I, I love it even more the more I listen to it, and I can tell this is gonna be the same kind of thing. So I'm sorry if I'm pausing in between each of these when it sounds like it's supposed to be one continuous EP, but that's my thing. Deal with it. I like to talk about the songs individually. That one, uh, that one was like wild. I I think it was it was a little bit less memorable than than Rachma for me, except that ending section was great, and <clears throat> and there was like the section. Sorry, my throat's dry. I should probably take a break and get water, but I will after after this. Let me just say some stuff, then I'll run and get water, come back. Um, I I don't know if it's a first time listen, but like that had certain sections that I really loved. But as a song, I feel like it wasn't as good as Rockma. It was still amazing, but I feel like that's going to be one that's also going to be a grower the more I listen to it because those different sections, like they they went really hard, but they, it was it was very like. Is, there's a lot going on so I think I need to listen to it more and digest it to fully appreciate it but I loved that still I mean 
it's it it's me right you can't you can't go wrong you can't go wrong all right uh i'm gonna take a break get some water be right back hold up just to be clear when i say something like i didn't think that was quite as good as rachma i mean that in the the best way possible where like it, it's still a great song that's like me saying uh angst off of agent fresco's destrier is like the the worst song on that album it's still a great song it's just a little bit weaker than all the others but that's still a 10 out of 10 masterpiece album it's still like my second favorite album of all time but something like something like that where it's like a little bit <clears throat> a little bit weaker didn't grab me on first listen but i think that's going to be a grower i think that the sections of it hit and I think as I listen to it more, it's going to grow. Okay, uh, let's get to Hestahov, which uh, means horseshoe in some language when I looked it up on Google Translate. But you can never trust Google Translate. So I don't know. Let me know. Here we go. Keep going. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take it back a bit because I want to hear this transition. Stop! <laughs> okay, this sounds like that that you know what I'm talking about, like that that tube thing that you flip, and it it makes those noises. That's what this sounds like. <laughs> it's like it's doing that. <laughs> that's that's what I it's immediately where my mind went when I heard that. I don't know. Now you'll never unhear it. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. This is beautiful, actually. Why is this gorgeous? Like Dude, I am 
is such a sucker for this kind of stuff. Oh, best song so far out of the three. Unbelievably good. Okay, this part. This is almost like lullaby-ish. But obviously like not at all sounding like a lullaby. But just in terms of the chord progressions and things like that and the what's happening melodically. It just sent Anyway, it just sounds like a lullaby. It sounds beautiful. Like if you took this exact instrumentation but played it on a piano softly like that, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is this is what Mirar does best. They take this classical sounding like chord progressions and melodies and like the sound of that and then just turn it into thal. And it works so well and it makes them super unique because of that. I'm, I'm saying I'm saying them like it's multiple people, but I, I think it's just the one guy for this, at least. Let me know if it's not, because uh, I know it's just <clears throat> it was at least the one guy who was doing the, the instrumental. Uh, and then there was a vocalist, but because there's no vocals on this EP. I think it's I think it's just the one guy on this solo project. Um, for this EP at least, this is crazy. This is insanely good. But that's what makes this so unique, is that inclusion of more classical sounding or just straight up not standard metal chord progressions like this. It's just not something that you hear in metal. But they turn it into that by adding in the weird noises and the brrrr and the And if you do it like that, then it becomes something super heavy, but super unique. And that's what works so well with this. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. I need, I need more. We're only halfway through. I need more. Hotsicord! This goes so hard. See what I'm talking about? It's so good. Ah, oh, key change. Yes. Maybe this is the best song so far.
The harpsichord really makes this. This is so classical. This is so classical. The chord progression and everything. Not sure what this is based off of, if it's based off of something. Oh, man. Another key change. This is so groovy. This is insane. <laughs> wow. I think that might be the best song so far. And there's still two to go. I don't want to stop it. I just got to keep going. Ooh. Oh! This is insane.
Dude, I just... I... I don't have words for this. Yes, the key change again! They're doing the Villarta key change. That's so good. What in the world is this? <laughs> House hall? This is insane. With with House Fall classical uh, Huh? It just gets better and better. There's no way. Now that's the best song so far. They keep one-upping themselves on the same album. EP. It's pretty darn near album length. What are we doing here? What are we doing? Are we really doing this? All right. All right, let's go. It's so crunchy, it doesn't even sound like a guitar anymore. Where are we going? Excuse me, I'm gonna pass away now. <sighs> no, no, are we building? No, don't do what? Huh? 
I can't even react to this anymore. I'm just... I'm destroyed. <laughs> this guitar is screaming at me. I don't like it. Uh. <sighs> There's still five minutes left in this track. They did a key change again. I genuinely think my headphones are broken. I don't think they're capable of portraying everything I'm hearing. I think this is blowing up my headphones. going to disassociate for a second. This was the last thing I expected. This is so eerie. It's so atonal. feels like 12 tone music pretty sure it is which is where like you can't repeat one of the 12 notes after you move away from it until you've played every other note so it's very very atonal there's no there's no key there's no tonal center it's just everywhere
Huh? What? Okay. Um, that was... That was simultaneously about how I expected it to go, and also nothing like how I expected it to go. That was crazy. I expected some sort of comeback at, at the end. I expected it to kind of come back and just drop some insane breakdown at the end, but it didn't. It didn't. That piano kept... Excuse me. <clears throat> piano kept going. That's ridiculous. I... Oh, boy. Uh, I... Uh, I don't know. It's really tough comparing this and Poetic Etta. I don't know which I like more. They are... They're such, like... Insanely perfect EPs. But they're very different in what they do. So it's really tough to compare them and decide which I like more. I guess only time will tell. I mean, I got six months to listen to them and make my decision for the end of the year. But wow. Wow. Uh, let's, let's talk about this. I said it before. But the stuff that Mirar does so well, taking these classical influenced sounds and turning it into something insanely heavy and unique and modern, while still retaining the essence of that classical chord progression and the way that it works in general, the way the music works, is crazy. This guy's ability to do that is unbelievable it's it's unparalleled i it, you you'll never hear music like this i've never heard music like this before i've heard people do like metal covers of classical songs and it'll be like i think i mentioned this before when i'm talking about mirror but uh like trans-siberian orchestra's music is a lot of classical influence and then they turn it into like rock music but a lot of that is straight up covers like, they will cover a song or do a medley of two songs. Like, one of my favorites is, um, what, what's it called? Uh, Requiem the Fifth, which is a mashup of Mozart's Requiem and Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. And it works super well, and it's a great song. But it really is just those songs, kind of, and then they make it their own thing. And they do the Trans-Siberian Orchestra thing. Um, everyone's heard wizards in winter and like their their uh christmas canon thing everyone's heard that very popular christmas tunes that are played on the radio a lot um <clears throat> but i think their their beethoven's last night album is super underrated but that is mostly just taking classical and then turning it into metal this is the next level of that it, well metal rock kind of like there it's it's borderline rock slash metal um this is the next level this is taking that classical music and turning it into metal naturally which takes a lot of skill because it's not just a straight up cover like take Takata for example I'm going back to this because it's my song of the year still I don't think any of these, the, I don't think any of these topped Takata for me um Mainly, I think, because of the, the vocals. Like, I, I'm just a uh, sucker more for things with the vocals than things without. So I love the way the vocals are in, on Takata, and the flow of it and everything is great. But Takata, it starts off, and it has that... Which is, <coughs> which is box Takata and Fugue, um, the, the, the organ piece. And then it takes that and it runs with it and it takes little samples of that and parts of like the chord progression and the overall flow of the song but it, it's not a straight up cover it's its own thing using influence from that and that's the same sort of thing happening here there was a lot of classical influence a lot of classical chord progressions but just done in a metal style with a lot of insane weird screechy alien noises that 
this guy is so good at writing with the instrumentals with Mirar. It's it's unbelievable. It's next level. It's like this. I mean, people have said it before. I'm sure I think I've said it before, but this is the next evolution of Thal. It's taking the 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 bendy, slidey, oogly boogly riffs of Thal and meshing it with something that you don't usually hear in the modern age, which is like these classical chord progressions with very classical things happening. Um, and it takes it takes that and makes it its own thing and blends two genres that shouldn't work together, but they do. Again, you can debate if fall is a genre. I said that in one of my other recent videos, but if if anything, it's it's almost creating a new genre. It's like classic, cl cl classic thal, cl classic thal music. This this is classic thal music. I'm I'm coining that term. I hope nobody said it before, but this is classic thal, classic classic thal music. <laughs> I can't even say it. Classic thal music. Um, this is crazy. And then like the Renaissance art used for all the album art and everything is is. It just adds to that vibe. Um, I don't know. You feel like you've stepped into some alternate dimension where people in the 16 and 1700s discovered electric guitars and somehow meshed that with the music of their time. It's it's insane. This is wild. I... Uh, that's, that's about all I can say. Um, yeah, that's incredible. Well, all right. Uh, well, I don't have, like, I don't rank albums and EPs on a number scale. If you've seen most of my recent videos where I've talked about albums, then you know that. I've got a new scale that I made up uh, on my own. It's not really like, uh a number ranking it's more of sort of like a tier list i guess there's six tiers and it goes masterpiece banger goes hard not bad not for me actual dog water that's the six tiers that i've got this is a masterpiece this is it's it's a masterpiece i undoubtedly this is incredible and kind of like I said with, with Rose Bonbon, bon, this is only going to get better with time. It's only going to improve the more I listen to it. Because every Mirror song has, for me, everything they put out so far has gotten better with time. So why would I doubt that this would? That's incredible. Awesome. All right, a few housekeeping things. If you go to the description and you click on my link tree, I have two playlists you can check out. They've been there for a while. I just haven't talked about it at all. So I'm telling people now they're there. One of them is just for songs that I like. They're, some, of, some are metal, but I think it's predominantly non-metal. And so if you want to go check out the music that I like, that I listen to, that is not mainly metal focused, go check that out. And then there's a playlist that is for heavy music. So... Go check those two playlists out. You can get to that in the description by going to my link tree in the description. Follow the links for that. I also have my Patreon. Go check out the different benefits that you can get over there if you're not already on there. Thank you to everybody who is on there. I really appreciate your support over the past few months. I'm I'm coming up on like almost a year now. A few more months and I'll have been doing this for a year. So that's kind of crazy. But the insane amount of support and growth that I've found over this year has been great. Uh, every little penny helps, so every dollar you throw at me to watch me rant about music stuff and be a nerd is much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, I think that's it for... Oh, go check out my social medias. Those are on my link tree, too. You can you can do that. I'm mainly active on Instagram and uh, TikTok. I just repost memes I like, so if you want to just watch me repost memes and stuff, go follow my TikTok as well. I'm, like, never on Twitter, even though I have one, but whatever. Go check that stuff out if you want. That's all optional, though. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for your support. Please like the video, comment, let me know what you think about all of this. I gotta get better at saying this kind of stuff because I don't promo myself at all. And so I need to kind of do that to get my name out there and get, get more people following me, more people 
knowing who I am. So uh, do that. It helps out the algorithm. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.